Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to discuss haters. Now, I really despise the word hater. I don't know why, but it's kind of like the universally, universally understood word for somebody who leaves comments or says things to you that aren't necessary like criticism as much as they're just mean, awful, hurtful. I want to start this video with two disclaimers. One being that I am not offended, I am not hurt, I do not take personally any hate comments that are left on my videos. I don't those comments, they don't get a reaction out of me unless it's like some rare day where my body is like hormonal as hell or pigs are flying in the sky. Disclaimer number two, this video is not coming from a place of anger or hurt and it is not coming at you with intentions of making anyone feel bad about themselves or hurting anyone. Like so many times on YouTube, you see creators do videos that are directed towards haters and the whole video they rant about how you know there's more important things going on in the world people are dying people are sick things in our personal lives are more important than what we preach here on YouTube and I agree with that but I want to get real with you guys so the reason I want to talk about hate is because recently I've noticed that I have been getting a lot of videos that have been talking about, you know, I've talked about this in a past video, but I have no right to um, share my progress when I wasn't fat or, um, you know, people want to come to videos to see fat people get skinny um, or that workout looks like a waste of time because you didn't lose any weight. I want to put it into perspective for you. When you say that a person has no right to share results because they were not fat and that you would really love to see what kind of, you know, how they would be mentally or what they would share if they were fat, you're not thinking about that person and their own journey. Not everybody works out to get skinny. I do not go to a gym and lift weights and look out in the mirrors or look into the mirrors and think, oh, that part of my body is too fat, or oh, if I am not losing weight, YouTube is gonna get a reaction and they are gonna hate this video, or oh, if I lose too much weight, people on YouTube are gonna think I'm too skinny and then I'm not gonna be relatable. It's not about that for me, and it's not about that for a lot of people. For me, I started going to the gym, I started doing home workouts to combat anxiety, to combat to combat stress. Yes, sure, I wanted to lose some weight. That's only natural. I think everybody would love to lose weight somewhere. It's not, there's nothing dirty about that. That doesn't make me a less confident person. That doesn't make anyone else a less confident person. Fitness to me is not something that I put online because I want someone to go, wow, look how much weight she lost. I need to do what she's doing. That will never be my objective. And to take it away from me and like my personal experience or whatever, I want you to think about why do you leave those comments? Why do you tell somebody that their work is a waste of time? What is it in your own heart, in your own mind that forces you or encourages you to leave that kind of comment? It is something within yourself. And again, I don't say that as hate. I don't say it to put you down, to make you feel like shit about yourself. I say it because I really do want you to sit and think about why am I leaving those comments? What is it about this person's video that is upsetting me? Why do I feel the need to discredit their hard work? Am I not having the time to work out and I feel bad about myself so I'm trying to make someone else feel bad about their self? Am I jealous? Am I envious? Um, am I just not happy and I want to push that unhappiness onto others? And I want to speak about it because I've talked about it multiple times on this channel. I was there. I was never like a hateful person. I was never super mean. I didn't, you know, have conversations with people trying to break them down. But I was at such a low place in my life that when something good happened to somebody, I was so genuinely happy for them, but I was hurting inside myself, so I kind of wanted to bring them down a notch. I did that. 
and I don't feel proud of that. Do you think I'd want to sit here in front of thousands of people and tell you that I was a nasty, hurtful person? No, like that's not who I am today because I realized that I got to a better place in my life. I got to a better place in my life because I decided that I was ready for change and I didn't want to be unhappy. I did not want to be tired. I wanted to be like the person that was feeling fantastic and was trying to inspire others and that is exactly what I did. You know, the comments that talk about, um, you know, if you were really fat, you'd be sharing a different message or whatever. I can't say exactly what I would be like if I were fat because who can say what they would be like if they were in a position where they aren't how they maybe normally are or want to be. But I feel that I would be okay because I love myself, I have loved myself through every size, shape, definition that I have been. I have loved myself because I know what my purpose is on life and what I'm hoping to share with others and how I'm hoping to inspire others. But you can say if you were fat, I hate that word, but if you were fat, you would do this or you would say this message. But the truth is I have made it a choice not to be that way. And yet some people have weight that they don't want to carry for reasons due to their health that is in some way out of their control. But I have family members that are heavy or were heavy. It's not, it's my family. I have larger family members, but I make a choice every single day to push play on my DVD or to go to the gym and lift weights or to go to my kitchen and eat fruit as opposed to peanut M&Ms, which I love by the way. I make that choice for me and it's not about being fat or being skinny or being toned or ripped or chiseled or whatever it is that you think that you think that I want to be. It is about my health. It is about being healthy, living the longest life that I can live for myself, for my children, for my husband, being able to get through the days without wanting to crash on the couch midday because I don't feel good, because I'm tired. Those are choices that I make. And you can hate on people all day long, but if you are not making that choice to change, if you are not making that choice to be more positive, if you are not making that choice to lift other people up, that is on you. That is your choice. So coming to these videos and leaving nasty comments to me, all it's going to do is make me pray for you, make me think about you because I want you to be in a place in life where you are happy and genuinely want good for others and want to share that with the world. So all I'm asking you is to think about the perspective of others. Stop looking at health and fitness as a way to get skinny and start looking at it about how it helps somebody else, about how it helps them with their depression, about how it does help them lose weight, about how they used to not be able to keep up with their kids and now they can because they are just so much in better shape cardiovascularly. There is so much more to health and fitness than weight loss. It's not about that. YouTube is visual, so of course we put results videos because what else am I going to do? I share that and then I share with you a review and a complete breakdown of the program. I tell you what I don't like about it, what I do like about it, how I felt, how I felt during the workout, how I felt after the workout, how I feel that I'm stronger now that I've completed the program. That all comes with those videos. So that's all I have for you today. I really hope nobody takes this in a way that's like, you know, she's addressing the haters to spread more hate because that simply is not my intention. That's not my desire. It is nothing that I want to do. I just want people to start thinking about health and fitness in a different light than just the fact that it is for weight loss because that is not a healthy mentality to have. I hope this inspires you guys to even if you're not a hater, just kind of think about the way you think about things and the way you approach people and the way you encourage or discourage them. And I would love to hear anything you guys have to add to this in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.